Well, we're going to anti-maskerville. So we have an Oregon couple heading out to I think the West Coast. I don't know, I'm a Californian, so I don't really know where anything is. But anyways, there's a couple out in Oregon who complained that their rights were being violated when they were told to, oh my gosh, wear a mask. And this was in a bakery. And what they did is they got a taste of sweet karma. Now this following a violent confrontation in the store though. Now it all started when Ricky Collin and Amy Hall waltzed into the Crumb Together Bakery massless demanding service. The exchange quickly turned violent. Check this out. Uh, don't you offer your services to the public? Yes, but it, the state requires that you need to be masked in order to come anywhere inside. You can't, you can't deny public services per federal law. Yes, I can. 18, you, can you can violate 18 U.S.C. 245. I don't know what that is, but it's a, That's a, it's business. a federal law. You're a public accommodation. You just said you're open to the public. I have the right to prescribe service to anyone. That, that's Maybe what 18 like USC 245 is exactly Please about. Leave my store. I'm asking you to leave. Do you understand what trespassing means? You're asking you're to leave. trespassing. When I ask you to leave and you don't leave, you are now trespassing. That's not that's not what trespassing yes, is. is. I would don't. Don't Please, touch her. You, the, the worst thing you can do is put your hands on me right now. The absolute worst. Thing Hey! Few things annoy me more than when people will try to drop the law as, as if it is something or they can uh, enforce it then and there. Oh, Lord. So, uh, <laughs> what is that? I have, so. A, I have a copy of the Constitution right here, and here it says well, in crayon uh, SF5000 C3PO and a smiley face. Anyway, can I have a cupcake? <laughs> Sorry, Adrian, what were you going to say? No, seriously, it's like you're really gonna go banging this hard in a bakery, bruh? Like, what the hell? And also this thought of, oh, I'm gonna drop these statutes, get out of here. Statutes are subject to interpretation. So why don't you go find a judge who will interpret it for you? In the meantime, get out my shop. <laughs> and anyways, just to be clear, so these anti-maskers, well, they struck first. And the fight, it really grew more violent. The anti-masking couple, they appeared to really continue to harass the bakery owner. And it looked like they had the last word. Hey! Just put your hands on. Yeah, me. don't touch her. Get out right now! I have the right to use reasonable force once I've asked you to leave. The f out! Get out! Get out! Get the f out of here! Somebody call the police on this lady. You don't get to assault people and run a business. They were completely and totally out of line. And that's very bothersome, the thought of it's like, why don't you roll up in Walmart? Where they can afford to have that such loss as opposed to a small business owned probably by an individual person who has to man the station. Well, anyways, those individuals, well, they look like they won that battle, but they really lost the war. Because Colin and Hall, well, they really filmed the moment that police used to decide who was at fault. <laughs> Reputation about them, um, and that they've assaulted other people, and so we wanted to go in there to see if we could get a coffee. And before we could even tell her that we wanted to buy anything, she was already coming at us, trying to remove us. Yeah, just hang on. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can film. I just wanted to get the rest of your story. So I don't know why they're arresting her exactly when she was the one that was attacked. I know this isn't the outcome that you guys wanted. For sure. Well, this is definitely an unlawful outcome, which is. Furthering your unlawful racketeering activity, but you know you guys could just keep doing what you want. So here's where we're at, uh, Ricky. You're also under arrest, okay? So I don't want she, I don't want this. She to said fall. it was discretionary. Okay, I don't want you. I don't want this. And what am broken. I? What am we're I under arrest for? Assault. <laughs> he thought he was something. He was dropping large words, racketeering. Oh, buddy, he really You're thought a racketeering he was operation. God, can you imagine dating a guy like that? I mean, I'm sorry, like obviously the, what happened was awful. That poor person working behind the counter trying to defend themselves. But just imagine trying to like date that dude seriously. Just like, well, actually, um, according to the statute, that I'm like, you, uh, you actually, we have to sleep together tonight. Like that's what has to happen. And your racketeering game of withholding from me is not good. Like honestly, shut up, bro, shut, shut up. You're sleeping on the porch tonight. Oh my gosh, this guy <laughs> really, really something. But you know what? Something that's even awesomer is their mug shots. 
<laughs> oh, it's just there. It's it's beautiful just to see these people lined up. The fact that their schmarmacity got them <laughs> some handcuffs. Beautiful polished pair. And the best part is you know they're gonna run up in court and try to talk this mess to a judge, and the judge will have none of it. And so um, excuse me, Judge, I don't know if you heard of racketeering. Um it's actually not about racket rackets um or or baseball rackets or badminton rackets. It is when um lawful officers do unlawful things. And you as a judge should know that. Just like mansplaining to everybody you possibly can. Like, bro, you're out of your element. All right, go back to school, finish your degree or cash in on your mom's, you know, uh, your little trust fund nest egg you probably got, cut mm -hmm. your hair, put on a damn mask, and then you can have a cupcake. I'm sorry, Adrian, what were you saying? I, I wouldn't give him a cupcake. I just think, you know, he's, <laughs> it's gonna turn out, you know, he has a gluten deficiency or issue. And he's like, I couldn't eat your cupcakes anyways. Anyway, so according to the Huffington Post, this Portland area couple, that's Colin who's 34, Amy Hall who's 45. Well, they were charged with third degree assault following their arrest in downtown Eugene on Wednesday. And in addition to felony assault, Colin was charged with robbery for allegedly walking out of the bakery with a bat. <laughs> That'll teach ya. That will teach you, do not take someone's weapon. That's absolutely correct, especially when they are exercising self-defense properly, which they were in this circumstance. And the bakery owner was reportedly taken to a hospital and she was treated for cuts and bruises. And unsurprisingly, well, Colin has a history of arrest and has posted several videos of himself challenging people over mask requirements. So if anything, this person is definitely the instigator when it comes to self-defense. And so I can't see a judge not, you know, Giving him some good old time or probation, probably. Yeah, let's be real. And a mm -hmm. cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And also, just a note to people uh, I think baseball bats are a great way to protect yourself, especially if you don't like guns. But you should try to use something that can't be taken away from you and that you can exercise at a distance. So, mm -hmm. even if I would have grabbed maybe a fire extinguisher, because mm -hmm. people will back up if you start spraying that stuff up in their face. So, See, this, uh, this is what I love about Adrian. Don't you love this about Adrian Lawrence? Like she's always like very practical with everything. She she will give you the tools. She's not gonna leave you hanging with like no real solutions. She wrote a whole book about how how to avoid and hold you know harass holes in your workplace accountable. And this, you're totally right. I mean, the move I think was pepper spray. The move was mace. I know often that can get used against the person who's trying to use it. But yeah, love a fire extinguisher. That yeah. is harder. And also, when you swing it, you really got to commit to the swing. And yes, like, you can you also do, you can do real damage. I don't know if you want to necessarily do bat level damage, but yeah, exactly. And also, it, like you said, it can be used against you. It's harder for a fire extinguisher, even though you can be hit with it. But still, also, if you really wanted to get creative. And her being in a bakery, I'm sure they got some of that Pam spray. Get out that in a lighter and just hit it hard, <laughs> hit it hard. You know, I, I think about these things, and that's probably why I'm a little twisted.